today we're going to paint this cute little pizza slice. We're going to start our painting by grabbing some yellow ochre and making it a little bit wet and adding a little bit of burnt umber. I'm going to draw the triangle of my pizza. It's going to be long and skinny like a pizza slice, slightly rounded on the top. And my paint is not super wet, but it's wet enough to kind of blend it. I'm keeping it a little bit on the dry side. I'm leaving some white areas because that's maybe where the mozzarella is. Um, my shape isn't too perfect because pizza slices are not perfect. And I'm going to add in, while the paint is still wet, we're going to drop in some burnt umber. So I'm adding the burnt umber a little bit at a time in layers so that I'm building up layers of light to dark. And I'm just dabbing out here where I think it should be a little bit lighter on the crust. And I'm going to keep going back and dabbing some burnt umber around. It's going to be like where the pizza starts to crisp up in the oven on the high spots. So if you have a reference Take a picture of your pizza and um, just look at those high spots and those low spots. And I'm just gradually building up a little at a time. All right, this is gonna be a red pizza. So we're gonna add some tomatoes with our Windsor red or whatever red you have, that's a bright red and just drop it in here and there and let that also bleed in that wet wash. You don't want to have too much because we still have mozzarella cheese and we're going to add pepperoni and we're going to add some peppers. So here I am, I dipped into my sap green and I'm just letting that bleed as well because I want it to be very loose and we're going to tighten up later on. To add the pepperoni, I use my bright red and also the burnt umber together. I want it sort of an orangey, bright red, and I'm putting a loose wash here. We're just going to build up on these pepperoni slices, so you want them to be a little bit light on, a little bit light in the middle, and then they're going to be darker on the edges later on. So after this layer dries, we'll go back in and add more detail to that pepperoni. So you can put your little pepperoni slices wherever you want. And they tend to get square as they crisp up in the oven. So they, you, know, you put them down as a round pepperoni slice, but I noticed that when they crinkle up in the oven, they tend to get flat edges. So I'm trying to emulate that. I'm going back in as they're wet and adding a darker uh, red to one side of each pepperoni. So I went back in with a clear water on my brush and I just sort of lifted out a little bit more of that paint on the right side of my pepperoni slices. So we have like a gradual light to dark gradation, I guess, on each slice. I'm using my Payne's Gray, a little bit watery, and I'm drawing a line slightly over the edge of the right side of my pizza slice, and I'm just going over it with water. I really want 
to have that edge to be soft. And this way it looks like the pizza is turning and also has a shadow so it looks like it's, you know, laying on a piece of um, paper or, you know, just has a little dimension. And I'm also adding a little bit around my, um, around pepperoni slices and I'm softening those edges up. So I'll drop the color down and then I will soften it up. Now my background was already dry when I started this. So I'm gonna go back and just take a clean wet brush and go down the side of that shadow area and just soften it just a little bit more. It doesn't have to be perfect. I might have dropped a little bit of blue in there as well. There you go. in some more burnt umber and really focus on where the pizza might have burnt a little bit in the oven. You always have those little dark spots. And because watercolor dries a lot lighter than your uh, wet wash that you put down, um, sometimes you know, I build things up from light to dark. So I'm a little careful sometimes of not to make things too dark in the beginning, but build it up a little at a time. And you can always add, but it's hard to take away. So everywhere the pizza crust is a little bit to the highest point, I'm going to add some of this burnt umber. And then I'm taking my brush, it's almost dry, just smearing it, just smearing it so I get a little texture from the paper to come up. And that looks pretty good. Now I'm painting the mozzarella where that gets, it's a little bit more of a yellow ochre. I put probably put a tiny bit of orange in there because that color of the cheese tends to look like a yellow-ish brown. So, and that's what I'm doing. I'm doing the same thing we just did, but in this lighter yellow ochre type color. So now we're going to use the point of our brush and use a saturated, not so wet red with a little bit of the umber in it to create the edges of our pepperoni. And I'm making like square edges around each one, just like, you know, they're not perfectly round, 
they crunched up in the oven and I'm going to come back and soften the left edge of each, sli each slice of pepperoni. So I'm adding, there might be a teeny bit of color left on my brush, but I added more water and I'm just making that edge a little soft, but I want harsh edges on the edges, on the outside edges of the pepperoni and the inside should be a little bit softer. So what would be a pizza without some delicious herbs? So I'm just putting random flecks of maybe a little green and my um, Payne's Gray together to create these little flecks of whatever spice, pepper, basil, oregano that you stick on top of your pizza. So I've just added even darker flecks of spices because I feel that you had one layer that's a little lighter and the second one's a little darker and it's really gonna make the pizza pop in depth. So now I'm adding a thin line on the shadow side of my pizza. The pizza, everything is dry. So I'm just going to go all the way down the edge and then I'm going to clean off my brush and add water to the, to the side of the shadow just to soften that outer edge up a little bit more. This is gonna make the pizza really look like it's sitting on a table at this point. I'm also adding more shadows around my pepperonis. And just like we just did with the edge of the pizza, we're just gonna add shadows around my pepperonis and some of my peppers to make them look more three-dimensional. And we're gonna soften the edges just like we did before. Now I'm adding my final details. I'm, I'm adding a little bit more punch of green on the peppers, and I think this looks really fantastic. It's a very realistic looking pizza slice, and it's really easy to do. I hope you enjoyed this, and if you did, please subscribe to my channel, and hit the like button, and also hit that little bell so that you know when I'm going to upload a new video. Until then, I'll see you in my next video. Stay well, bye-bye.